Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to our Two Point Campus Let's Play, where we're now going to our third campus over at Mitten University. Now, this name will be familiar to some of you if you played Two Point Hospital, but I assure you, in Two Point Campus, it is a very different beast. Now, this level will introduce a few new mechanics to us. We're going to have a new course introduced as well, and it's all good times. We're finally going to learn how to train our staff and do research as well, but we'll get into all that when we get into it. For now, let's take a look at Mitten University and dive on in, right? So the historic university is looking for someone to take them into the present by opening a modern campus on its hallowed grounds. Let us begin with 350k in the bank, so a bit more, if memory serves me correctly, than the previous campus, but significantly less still than the campus before that, the, the first campus that we play at. But uh, I think we'll be fine, just got to be a bit more wary and a bit more uh, careful, I suppose, uh, so that I don't have to rely on too many loans. But we'll see how it plays out. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Mitten University is an amazing place. I've only been there once, just went for the afternoon. It's pretty confusing though. There are so many different colleges and buildings. I was lost in its winding corridors and cavernous libraries for several days. It was a haunting experience, but I must say, very picturesque. I must agree. This campus is extremely picturesque, but uh, it is also absolutely massive, and we'll get into that in just a moment as we explore the intelligent life. Welcome to Mitten University, where the age-old institution is trading in its gargoyles for gigaflops and developing its first fully functioning robot. The university's antique facilities may be easy on the eye, but they're not ideal for cutting-edge science. Make a name for yourself by building the modern campus that Mitten deserves. So the course that's being introduced to us in this campus right off the bat is the robotics course. And it does have some interesting, you know, elements to it as all the courses so far have done. This is also one of the more uh, complex ones. It's got three years and a lot of moving parts. Uh, just saying that because Funny Business, which is the last thing we looked at in the previous session, or the previous two sessions, I should say, was a bit of a simpler course, but robotics takes us back to something a bit more complex. So let's hear what Sophie Nova from uh, Bungle Technologies has to say. Hello, I'm Sophie Nova, founder of Bungle Technologies. I hear you're trying to build a robot? Whew. Been there, my friend. Well, before we go on, actually, I just realized I got to make sure that the radio announcer who introduced us to the university is uh, not going to interrupt us partway through this session. So a quick, hopefully imperceptible edit later. We are uh, free from his uh, potential interruptions. Let's see uh, what, uh, what Sophie has to say here. The university has asked me to help however I can. I'm not building it for you, though. That would be cheating. Indeed, it would. Indeed, it would. So a couple of, again, basic requirements over here, but we're going to try and go uh, over the top, above and beyond, rather, I should say, though, perhaps also over the top, and uh, maybe try and secure some more course points with which to upgrade robotics right off the bat, right? Get that increased student intake right off the bat, get the extra income right off the bat because right now obviously without any wages or anything to pay we're looking all right but as soon as uh, as soon as those expenses rack up obviously that 120k we're making per year is uh, is very quickly going to dissipate so i might want to try and nab enough uh, course points to at least get one step of uh, upgrading done now let's take a look at our overall layout over here it's a very interesting shape for this main building we do have a bit of room for expansion but i'm not going to do that i quite like the core layout uh, but further on down the line there are these massive plots that we can use uh, to expand into and I absolutely love them and the introduction actually uh, is quite interesting too because it, it kind of talks about like massive libraries and things like that so I do wonder if uh, if we maybe explore that make truly massive uh, structures right because we have so much room look at these plots back over here we can have multiple um, faculties even like if we want to have a separate faculty of robotics a separate faculty of uh, funny business a separate faculty of uh, of uh, you know, gastronomy, we can do all of that and have separate buildings for each and every one of them. So let me know what you think about that as uh, we try to acquire the three stars and, and move forward, of course, uh, with the actual non-tutorials part of this campus. Let me know in the comments down below. And on that note, folks, just want to very quickly mention, if you are enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. They do make a very big difference in just letting me know what people are interested in watching on the channel. It helps me make decisions with regards to what series to pursue, what series to perhaps uh, slow down or speed up. It, uh, it, it really is a, a huge deciding factor 
for a lot of aspects of, uh, of what happens on the channel. So hit that like button, leave a comment down below with your opinions on what we're doing or how you'd like to see things a little differently. I've got some feedback that I'm trying to implement. Uh, it, it, it involves breaking habits uh, that have been uh, solidified in place. So bear with me as I try to uh, you know improve my approach in, in, in the ways many of you have suggested and requested. Uh, but uh, but yeah, you know I do read all the comments. I do take them all to heart and I try my best to uh, uh, you know, integrate all the suggestions and recommendations and thoughts that I get in as well. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, I should also mention, if you haven't already subscribed and you've been enjoying the series, the series is going to go on for quite some time yet, so don't hesitate to subscribe. Now, with that spiel out of the way, uh, first things first is to get this washroom in here. The, the I don't, it, this looks like it might be symmetrical. I think what we might do is we might put a washroom here and a washroom here, make this one students only, make this one staff only, and maybe split this building right down the middle and make this the, the student zone and make this the staff zone. Um, so like uh, student lounge maybe, uh, dorms up over here perhaps. I am tempted to get a plot uh, and expand our dorms and stuff there, but uh, maybe we'll do that like next year uh, after we've made a bit of money. Uh, hopefully beyond what we're starting with, maybe we go ahead and uh, and acquire a plot and actually get the uh, the student lounge areas and stuff over there, whereas the actual education happens over here. Alternatively, we might do the flip afterwards, where all the student lounge activities and stuff happen in the central building, and then you have your separate faculties for robotics, gastronomy, etc., etc., if we decide to expand like that. You know what? I like that second idea better. I like that second idea better, so maybe we'll do that. Um, again, let me know what you think about it, but uh, I, I'm kind of leaning towards that. It makes a bit more sense. You have your, again, central building where uh, all the student affairs and, 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 and staff affairs take place, and then, of course, all the studying and, uh, and, and, and educating, hopefully, takes place uh, across the rest of the campus. Uh, let's go, and can I get... Come on. Probably I can pick you up. There we go. Pop you down over there. A giant window in the washroom. You know, I, I never know how I feel about windows in the washroom. Certainly not in the cubicles, right? Certainly not in the cubicles. Uh, let's get rid of the windows over here. A bit of a shame, to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. And we'll be mirroring that over here, so we'll get, need to get rid of these two. This is looking all good. I'm not sure what's being removed there. Oh, it's this window, I think. But otherwise, sure, a decently prestigious washroom, I think. Uh, again, we want to try and win as many awards as we can, right? So let's let's keep an eye on, uh, on, on prestige and things like that. I realize, of course, we need the hand sanitizer to keep hands clean and to act as a pseudo shower, I suppose. Pop you down there as well. We're so close. We're so close. What can I get in here? Maybe this poster. The toilet poster. Please remain seated. It's such a good one. Kudosh. Just 15 kudosh. It's not that expensive. And you know what? It's it's really funny. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get that one. Let's get it. Let's pop it up over here. I like the idea that it constantly gets blocked. Oh, no. It doesn't get blocked by the door. You know, I, I, I prefer that. But I wouldn't mind it being constantly blocked by the door. But yeah, you open it. The first thing you see is instructions on how to use the washroom. That is... uh. Yeah, definitely prestigious. Go ahead and put that in place. Yes, I'm okay with that. We will uh, level up right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the essentials before I start mirroring stuff and getting the, the duplicate stuff done over here. I wonder if I want to make like a little lounge type area over here would be nice. Uh, I do want to start getting more decorative and uh, and inventive with our spaces. Try to create student lounge spaces and, and, and places to chill and for clubs to meet up. Now that mechanics are being unlocked more and more, it'd be nice to get some of that stuff actually happening, right? So like, for example, maybe we get a couple of uh, benches in here. Um, yeah, like we could do one, let's say two, let's say th three benches, right? I think like that will work. Do we get the partition wall? We do. Pop you down like that. So a little like, you know, nook kind of an area. Um, I, I wanted to maybe get the uh, vending machines down over here as well. So you, know, you grab a drink, you grab a bite, you sit down, you, you lounge, you chill, you make some friends. I eventually, I might want to get uh, like these things into these kinds of nooks. Maybe not this one in particular, but uh, I think we'll have space for... Yeah, some items here and there, just to make uh, make things a bit more interesting. I don't know if I love how that partition wall looks, though, to be honest. But, hmm. Okay. I wish it just had that thing across the top, so it looked a bit more consistent. But it's all good. It's all good. We'll need some posters and stuff in here to, to, to really zazz it up. Uh, give me some posters. What do we got? What do we got? Sure, let's get, uh, let's get this banner up over here. Like that. Sure, that looks good to me. We'll get the, uh, hmm... Hey phone, can, can it be reached in here? I don't think so. It's a little too tight, right? Yeah, it looks like it's a little too tight for that. All good. We can get the payphone over here. 
and let's why not get a couple of bins in as well while we're at it there we go pop this one down over here right next to you let's get the hand sanitizer up over here as you're entering this lounge space and a hand sanitizer over here as well seems like uh, overkill but let's see how the, the students treat it and we'll uh, we'll adjust accordingly yeah definitely need more over here how about some plants in the meanwhile while we're waiting for like the clubs and stuff to become sort of needed i guess oh really we can't oh there we go pop you down there and pop you down there there we go you know i'm bringing some life into the space stuff like this would fit into these kinds of nooks as well i think it'll be fun i think it'll be quite fun let's also get actually a water cooler uh Hmm. Over here, sure. It just feels like this whole wall of stuff, you know? I don't necessarily love that feeling. I don't necessarily love that feeling. You walk in, you look left, there's a nice little lounge area. We'll, okay, we'll see how it plays out, because what I'm going to do next is actually get a room down. Let's go ahead and build a lecture theater uh, right at the entryway over here, pretty much. Um, pop you down like this. It'll actually get rid of the partition wall. That's okay, that's okay. We don't need it to be too large. Let's line it up to that. Yeah, that seems good to me. Decently wide hallway for all sorts of uh, shenanigans. Go ahead and get the actual lectern down over here, perhaps. So we can get some windows. Nah, let's put, let's put the lectern down over here. Get our uh, seating up over here. There we go. I don't think this lectern is centered, actually. The door there for now, because I actually want it over here. Please and thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and get a plant or two in here. Well, first of all, I wanted to uh, to get this in. I want to help with uh, the, uh, the the learning power, right? Get that in over here like so. Come on. Ooh, this one doesn't actually let me rotate uh, below the snaps, like less than the snap. That's okay. Go ahead and get a couple of these speakers in here as well. Get that surround sound going. A decently prestigious lecture theater wouldn't be a bad idea, right? A couple more of these. Don't really have surround sound otherwise, do we? Uh, and then let's go ahead and get some large windows in here as well. Pop one there. Get one over here. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Another one, maybe? Invalid position. Hmm. Interesting. Well, actually, this window doesn't make sense. This is This is very weird to have a have a window facing, like, inside. Pop a window. Come on, now. Can't, cannot creep too much into the corner, sadly. Pop it down like that, maybe. Nudge this down a bit so it feels a bit more... I don't know, it's, it's so weird having that gap back there, but it's also weird having this up against the windows. You know, I gotta, like, choose my poison there, I guess. Uh, let's put some plants down as well. One in the corner over here. Maybe another one up over here. And let's get a bin. Right up over here. And a hand sanitizer right by the entrance as well. And you know, I'll get uh, I'll get a bin up there as well. I realized uh, littering is a, a serious problem. <laughs> it's a serious problem in Two Point County. This is all good for now. I think it's a decently prestigious uh, lecture theater. Yes, five is is, is it seems like a pretty good point to be at. And the reason why I wanted to do this uh, over here is because then we can get the water cooler actually uh, over, like let's say here approximately and uh, and then we can get some benches up over here as well let's see if we can't get a different color Ooh. okay first of all first of all pop you there and you there let's nudge you over a bit so i can get uh a bin put in place and i'm gonna have to actually replace these guys because i just realized those some of those aesthetics are significantly better uh so yes gonna get rid of them Sell you and sell you as well, please. Let's go ahead and get this one. Look at that. Now we're talking. That's a lounge area. You see, that's a lounge area. Let's go ahead and... Can I get, like, a fun angle over here, maybe? Like, this kind of a thing. Gotta make sure that people can actually walk in as well, of course. Come on. Try that. And try... Blocking access to the planter there. Oh, there we go. No. Like, kind of worked there for a second. Sure, let's try that. That seems symmetrical enough. Close. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Can we, uh, can we then clone you and put you down over here? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fiddle with this stuff a bit more maybe during the school year. Because one of the things I want to try and keep in mind is 
uh, having the, uh, the the inter academic year period last a little bit less. That's been uh, requested a, f uh, a fair bit. Uh, it tends to be, a, you know, it, t it tends to take a fair bit of time to decorate and place everything. So I think that's why I take a fair bit of time during the inter year period. But I'm going to try and do some of that c customization and adjusting during the uh, during the school year instead moving forward. Let's go ahead and get uh, Robo Construction set down over here. Do we have? Oh, there's the bump, eh? All the way down to the end? We could do. If I do that, we have another nook over there potentially, right? We can like replicate this kind of a nook up over there. And then the student lounge and, uh, and student union could be over here. Like the student lounge could be over here. The student union could be over here. And then this would be all the staff stuff, staff room and some other mechanics that will be introduced to shortly. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and put this door down over here. Uh, we need our main structure, obviously, our main item. Hop you down right in the middle. Always a good place for stuff. That seems roughly correct. How about that? Yeah, that seems close. We can always adjust it later, right? And let's get the uh, whiteboard up over... Up over here, I think. Uh, actually, it would get probably pretty crowded if I do that. What is this? Ah, computer terminal. Let's put the computer terminal over there. Uh, not that it's a necessity. Let's go ahead and pull you over to here. Just because I want, I want students to be able to to to, to use this space without being uh, too crowded. Put this back over here so there's room around there. Invalid items outside room. What invalid items outside room? Oh, interesting. It's fixed now. I'm not sure why that came up, but uh, let's go ahead and get the 3D printer table. Uh, set up as well quite a few items that again right students need to use for their assignments or for their actual um during their classes as well development station gives plus two percent learning power don't mind if i do there are some really large as you can see pieces of equipment for uh for the robotics class what do we have your component desk and head desk <laughs> okay head desk is pretty funny uh let's get the head desk let's see how wide are you Kind of why let's go ahead and get the head desk there and the component desk over here a little bit closer we've got uh, loose bits as well free downgrades uh pop you over there can we get the bin in that corner sure let's get a bin in that corner we'll get a bin up in this corner as well you know for uh for when the markers run out you got to toss them somewhere right that's all good we've got almost everything we have a systems desk as well hmm let's go ahead and get the systems desk like this i'm thinking oh come on come on now I would work so nicely. All right, let's go ahead and rotate you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe over here instead, next to the other computer terminal. Now let's get the systems desk. I was thinking it'd be kind of neat to have it like create a little uh, space here, I guess, right? That seems neat to me. And then we can have, uh, what can we have here? Maybe some plants. Can't go wrong with plants, right? Can't go wrong with plants. Sure. Let's get some giant windows in here as well. There we go. This is a prestigious room. This is a prestigious room. I'm not sure why this is invalid. Oh, it's probably because we already have one over there. Fair enough, fair enough. Not sure why it's not showing up on this side, but it is what it is. And uh, other components will be able to unlock with Kudosh later on. Uh, and I think that'll actually help with some of the later year um, classwork, right? But uh, there are some options, more more relevant options for attractiveness too. I'm just keeping an eye on Kudosh as we start the school year. I want to make sure we're able to fulfill some personal goals for those instant like first year students to keep them happy, right? This feels really good. Very prestigious space. We could actually get a few more plants down. Um, let, you know what? I should actually switch over to the more rigid structure, the the, the square base plants because it, it's you know robotics. Um, something about robotics and, and square structures. There, there's there's a justification there. There's a justification there. There we go, pop you down there. I wish that was a bigger tree, like a bigger plant. I mean, sorry. Might be able to get one, but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That looks like a good space for, uh, for education. That looks like a good space for, for learning. Uh, why don't we actually, for the time being, again, this will probably be replaced by our, by like dorms, not just one, but multiple dorms. But for the time being, we'll put our dorm elsewhere. I'll explain. This isn't wall square. I'll explain in just a moment. Is that actually... No, that's not what I meant. I meant this. Sorry. Clone you. There we go. 
that seems more symmetrical. Uh, but right, so what we'll do, sorry, is uh, is we'll, we'll get the dorms over here. Maybe like three or four dorms can fit over here. And we'll move this to another campus, um, to another uh, building to be the faculty of robotics or whatever when, uh, when I think it's time to do so. So in the meanwhile, let's build a temporary dorm. Uh, have it over here, I think. Uh, gonna try some non-square structures that make things a bit more uh, interesting in that way, right? Go ahead and add, where is, uh, nope, gotta do that, there we go. Boom, let's do that, that'll be kind of fun. We'll make that into a lounge space, but actually inside the dorm instead. And let's get the door over, the door over here. And that seems good to me, let's go ahead and get the beds. That's been pointed out that I can use the different beds uh, to help make uh, prestige even higher, which is interesting to me. We will experiment with that, but that's only, of course, if you reach the uh, the threshold for the bed. I, I just like the black frame a lot, you know? I just like it a lot. Go with our standard look. Familiar with it, comfortable with it. Pop you over there. Go ahead and pop you over here. So that's enough for 10 students, of course. We'll need a little bit more, I think. Is that lined up? Yeah, that's lined up. Get one in this corner over here. So very, very intimate uh, sleeping arrangements. <laughs> very intimate. Pop you there. And can I fit you in here? I should be able to. Yeah, see, that one's too close, I think. Nudge you over ever so slightly. Pop you there. There we go. Yeah, that seems better. Uh, so that's all good. Let's go ahead and get some uh, space to actually study. Where, where? There we go. There's the desk. Put a couple of these down over here and over here. Good stuff. And we, of course, need the actual wardrobes as well, right? So let's get a wardrobe... Maybe over here and over here. It seems a little too close to do that kind of a thing. And why don't we build uh, a, a dorm notice board up over here, right by the wardrobes, right? Cool, you know, you get uh, dressed in the morning, you have uh, you have a notice board to look at. Let's get the iHeart uh, two-point sign up over here between the two desks. Good stuff, good stuff. And of course, some windows would be nice, right? Some windows would be nice. Um... Let's get you actually over here. Oh, there are already windows here. We'll have to get rid of them first. That's okay, that's all good. You are not up against the wall. There we go. Good stuff. And let's go ahead and build a little lounge space over here as well, right? I just think it'll 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 make everything come to life a bit more. Are we not able to get benches in here? Really? Oh, come on. For real? Really? Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, then I guess we could get the double jump bed down in there instead. A different kind of lounging, I suppose. But yeah, I, I can't get... I can get the dark throne, I suppose. <laughs> the type of seating, I, I guess. Yeah, it's so weird. I would... Can I really not... No, don't unlock that. Yeah, I can't. That's really... Okay, fair, sure. Double jump bed it is. That's too bad. Had a nice idea there. But what we'll do again, when we when we transition to this central dorm, we'll we'll repurpose it and uh, and actually make this into a nook like this, I think. Or we'll do something with a student lounge, actually make that the, the game space or something like that. Uh, this is looking all good to me for now, though. Wait, no, we do need some bins. We need some bins. Get one over here and one over here, right next to the desk, right? So you can throw all your trash attempts at writing an essay. And otherwise, I think we're good. Decently prestigious, wouldn't mind going a bit higher, maybe some hand sanitizer so you can take your uh, morning shower on your way out. And let's leave it at that. Definitely get some hand sanitizers in here as well. Doesn't really help our prestige all that much. They can use this one. Alright, cool. All done with that. Yes, we'll sell the invalid items, please and thank you. And we do have the opportunity, of course, to, uh, to put down more windows, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, pick you up, sell you, and let's immediately go ahead and get some windows in here, right? Oh, right, of course, this is in our way. Nudge you over there for now. Place these windows. I just think it'll be nice to have some natural light in here. Um, and sure, put this up between these two beds. Or this bed, there you go. A little bit of personalization. Done. Good stuff. So we now have 20 course points. We are able to upgrade our, uh, our initial course. Don't necessarily love... There we go, move this just a bit more over. It was a little too tight for me. It was a little too tight for me over there. Good stuff. So that's looking good. This is looking good. I wonder if we can't nudge you over ever so slightly and bring you over with... 
There we go. Feels a bit more nicely organized. And we need some showers, right? So I wonder if we put the shower down over there. Do the staff need showers? I mean, they, they kind of do. We can have shared, share, shared shower accommodations. Shower room up over here. Seems, uh... It seems awkward for for now. We'll we'll eventually get the shower up over here. If the dorms are over here, we'll get the shower over here in a different kind of a shape. It just the only reason that it feels awkward is because having a shower right by the entrance is a little funny. Having washrooms right by the entrance is entirely normal, but having a shower right by the entrance that seems seems a little funny, doesn't it? But we'll 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 make do for now. We'll make do for now. Kids need to be clean. Go ahead and put all that up. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the, the the towel racks up as well. One two three and four and of course we need a bin in the shower because we need a bin everywhere people are filthy and i wonder if we don't get the um the you kiss your mother with those hands soap poster it costs 15 kudosh it's not too much it'll make the 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 shower a bit nicer right i just never know what else to put in the shower it's like i guess we could put a plant down over here and let's let's unlock this yeah get the soap poster not all that expensive and just brings a bit more life to our uh, to our shower. So close to three, or to, to four. Sorry, I'm not actually going to put four of these down in a row. I was just checking. Cool. Let's leave it at that. We'll try and find a way to upgrade it uh, later. We do need to get rid of these windows, though. Uh, all good. Go ahead and yes, sell you and sell you as well. Cool. Meeting some of our uh, bare necessities. Um, we will need the student lounge wonder what I put over here, if anything. Go ahead and clone you, flip you around, and put you down over here. Right, that makes sense. We'll shift the door. It's like I want to actually mirror it, you know? I don't necessarily mind this. So it looks like, ooh, why can we not? Oh, you know what? All right, fair enough. Get rid of you, please. Get the door down over here. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we, we actually have to mirror it. We actually have to mirror it. Oh. There's, there's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. And if you know one, then uh, feel free to let me know down below. Because I'm sure there's a more convenient way to... Uh, to spread... Uh, to, 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 to flip... Um, flip items around. Can we get this poster, please? No. Come on. Come on. Give me. Don't want to place another one down. I want... No. I want the... Okay, well, we'll get that afterwards. We'll get that afterwards. I'm not going to get too bogged down by it right now. One, two, three, and four, I believe we put down on the other side. Three, actually. Three, three dryers as well. And pop one, two... Three, again, because students need to use all these things uh, as they're moving around. These plants have already died. I guess we're technically not paused. Oops. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and put these... Uh... Did they really already... Did they just die on me? I guess they must have. There you go. Fresh plants. Cool. Uh, go ahead and put you down over there. Get the hand sanitizer right in the middle there. And one more plant. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. That's all good. Can I pick up the poster? Still nothing. All right. Let's go ahead and put all that in a place. Yes, thank you. And now I should be able to get into the room and pick up poster. Not letting me pick up the poster, eh? It's not letting me pick up the poster. All right. Fair enough. Cancel that. Uh, are you sure you want to cancel editing the room? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, cool. Uh, it's okay. It's staff, right? There, there, there will always be fewer staff than uh, than students. So we'll make this staff only. We'll make this students only. That should help a little bit. And everything else, I think, can wait for during the school year. We'll need a student lounge or a student union, but it depends on what the uh, students are vying for first. We'll put that one over here. We'll put the other one over here. Uh, we'll put, you know, we'll, we'll we'll put them in the middle over here and over here. I have some plans. The staff room and other staff related things will happen over here, I think. Just got to figure out what to do with this. Another nook, maybe. We'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and manage our courses and actually prepare to uh, open up for the school year, I think. We have all the necessities except for 
teachers. So why don't we go ahead actually and get our uh, staff taken care of. Uh, Charlie Corruption over here, what a name. Squeaky clean, excellent. You know what I mean? Don't need showers for teachers. Uh, pop you down over here. We will want like private tuition and stuff as well, but we'll wait for our, uh, our, our campus expansion before we do that, I think. Which I think we'll wait until next year because money's not tight per se. Um, but I, I want to I wanna be careful. I want to be careful just to see how the students do when they first arrive. Having tuition first might not be a terrible idea now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and hire an assistant. Oh, right. You know what? We need a library still. Right, of course. We do need a library. All right. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a library over here. Small library, eh? As a small library, it'll it, it'll move next year. It'll move next year. For now, we we have the small library, and that's fine. We'll have a better one soon. This is just to make sure our students' basic needs are are are, are met. These are the early days of this new uh, course being offered at this uh, at this university. We'll be fine. Make sure I'm putting the right one down over here. We might need to actually upgrade it mid year. Put you down over there. I wouldn't be surprised if we need a computer as well for robotics-related uh, studies. Not the highest prestige. So we'll see about uh, moving that. I'm, I'm leaving space for, like, lounges and stuff. That just seems so tiny. But for now, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay with that. And let's go ahead and get ourselves the uh, private tuition room as well. Probably get a couple of these, actually. One, like, here. Pop you down there. We've got our... Uh, desk like this. I never know which one. Okay, the teacher's obviously on the right side with the with the mug, right? So I'll put you down like that. Uh, get this board back over here. We'll, we'll buy some more improvements for these things down the line, I think. I need to get some bins in here as well, don't I? Put a bin down over there. Cool. Not the prettiest space. Maybe get some plants down too. Sure. Ah, uh, no, that blocks everything. Oh, can't put plants down over there. Can't reach the plants if they're back there. Can we put the plant down over here? We'll block the bookshelf. No plants for now. That library will get an expansion. It'll be one of the earlier things we uh, we do, I think. Nudge you in a bit. Nudge you in a bit more. Nudge you in a bit. Nudge you in a bit. Go ahead and delete that. I, I don't know. One, two, three, four. We can't have them both be four, uh, four long, right? So this one will be the, the smaller one. This one will be the bigger one. I think that works out. Uh, let's go ahead and put... A plant down over here. That's nice. Yeah, let's put a plant down over here. Get the hand sanitizer down right by the entrance as well. And do we have a bin? We do have a bin. Cool. We'll leave it at that for now. Uh, let's get some windows in here, though. Can we not put one in the corner? I don't think so. Doesn't like it. Yeah, can't put one in the corner. Okay, we'll put these windows down for now. It's a, it's not very prestigious, but like I said, we'll, we'll be making some changes, hopefully mid-year or uh, early next year. The campus is leveling up, though, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and duplicate you and pop you down over here. Uh, then we'll add a couple more spaces, and you can see it immediately helps the, the prestige, right? Immediately. So we do need to get rid of these windows for this one. So it also immediately loses its prestige. Pop you back there, pop you over here. Funny the things that make uh, so much of a difference, right? But again, we'll, uh, we'll we'll find ways to improve these spaces. Get some rugs in there and, and, and things like that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. For now, though, education and earning from that XP bonus is absolutely crucial. We'll need a couple more teachers. Hopefully, they'll become available. Uh, in a new applicant in two days. So I can get some janitors going around so they can keep the plants alive. Neal Fenderson, squeaky clean. Moves faster as well. Get you in there. And let's get another janitor. Alfie Chess moves fast and poor personal hygiene. So it balances out. Balances out. Cool. Pop you down. Now we can actually resume and, and let time move forward as some of these folks, uh, you know, are able to, to, to cover our bases. New applicant coming through. We'll hire whoever we can get. Sally Tootsweet. Guess we had to hire her Tootsweet. Go ahead and bring you in to help Toot... Tooter... Toot, toot sweet the tutor oh my goodness it's terrible and uh, excellent hugo benoffi is uh good for the library yeah we will be making some adjustments don't worry in very tight spaces over here uh but that is i think everything we need urgently everything else can kind of wait we'll need a staff room we'll need a student union we'll need a student lounge as well but let's go ahead and take a look at this robotics course and see if we cannot make some adjustments so tuition fees 12k 
I believe that's higher than we had for uh, for gastronomy. That was 9K, right? If we take a look over here, gastronomy, uh, average tuition is 9K. Yeah, so this is a bit higher uh, higher value in that sense. Um, we're, we're predicted to get how much? Oh my goodness, 14K estimated yearly profit and loss. That's not good enough, obviously. If I upgrade you, we don't have enough for the next step up. But that is a huge upgrade, right? Oh, I'll have to actually confirm before we'll see the numbers there. Um, if I if I revert changes, how far away are we from level five to actually being able to upgrade that another step? We're not that far away. Let's get the student lounge. Let's get the student union up over here. I think the student union being one of the first things you see is kind of cool because you get to see all the you know cool activities and stuff students get up to. Uh, I think we actually need it to be a little bit bigger. Like that. Leave a little bit of breathing room. Uh, but yeah, put you down over there. We've got a little uh, bar over here. We'll get the uh, seating spaces down over here and over here. Just trying to make it a bit more maybe interesting, I suppose. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and on that note. Yeah, look at that. A little bit of rotation goes a long way. There we go. Rotate you as well. Yeah, fancy. Real fancy. Get a bin up over here. I don't like that, actually. Get a bin... In this corner, perhaps. Sure. I uh, get a couple plants down. Where are we? There we are. Pop you down there. Pop you down over here. And let's get some. Let's get some windows. Actually, before I get too far ahead, get some windows so people can actually see in and look at all the wonderful times people are having. Let's move the bin. Sure. Let's move the bin over here. After all, just because I don't want the first thing you see to be, you know, a, a, a bin um, for obvious reasons. So that's good. I like that. We can get some windows. Down like that as well, and down like this. Good stuff. Again, not really helping prestige all that much, but I think it'll just look like a nicer space. Might even go all the way to the end. Truth be told, oops. Truth be told, and uh, and see how that looks. Perhaps it's like basically glass walls, in, in a way. At which point you eventually do need a bin, I guess, to show up. Now nah, we can nudge it against this wall, I guess. Cool. We'll do that. Let's get some uh, dart boards in here as well. Good stuff. And uh, how about a jukebox up over here, right? I think that works. This is a very prestigious room. Um, we still have a fair bit of money uh, left over, though, so that's that's good. I just wonder, hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's pull you over to here. Get rid of some of these windows because you don't want people looking at the back of a machine, right? Crazy taxi, high roller. Or let's get the uh, the wizard one. Yeah. Let's get you down there. And let's also get uh, maybe this uh, two-player game table down. Helps build friendships, right? Hmm. A little tight. I'll go down over here. Cool. And that's fine to have by the window, I think. Place it like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. This looks like a fun space. We'll eventually want to be able to fit a stage and stuff. So this will all need upgrading as well, right? Like this is all too tight. But you got to iterate. You got to upgrade over time. We'll get the, the club membership stuff outside, perhaps. We'll see how that uh, fits in. Let's get a couple of couches, maybe. Get a couch in like that. Flip you around. We have just other patterns, eh? Okay, no. So we'll stick with this. I, I like the shape of the, the, the couches we got out there. Those were, I thought, really nice. Do we have anything else? We can get some of these, I suppose. An armchair or a wraparound chair. Wraparound chairs are fun. Pop you down like that. Cool. What I probably should have done is done the student, uh, not the student um, union, but the student lounge instead because they're able to get tastier, healthier food there, I should say. Uh, but for now, this will do. Good stuff. I think that's an impressive thing to walk into. You walk in and you see this like really cool uh, space where everyone's having a good time. I think uh, I think that's nice. I think that's quite nice. Let's get ourselves an assistant in here. These are all library assistants. We'll wait until these six days pass six quote-unquote days pass and see if someone more suitable is available um but uh oh, we're very close to the next level eh well actually will that even be enough huh you know it actually won't be um <laughs> my apologies i did my math poorly there it actually won't be enough we'll need uh, we'll need one more which uh in that case i think we'll leave We'll leave B, and we'll see if student health is low, in which case we'll go ahead and, and put the lounge down with the microwave and all that, because the bed does help with uh, health, right? Yeah, it does, uh, as long as people sleep. Let's go ahead and manage our courses, upgrade, do the one step we can. Uh, 12K, so this would be, this would be what? Tuition of 240, right? Literally double. 
Do I want to take in more students? Do I want to take in fewer students, rather? Higher average learning rate isn't bad. Uh, it would mean our... Hmm. Pull it down to 8. Let me see what that does. 156. What's the point of the upgrade? Well, the upgrade allows us to have the significantly higher learning rate while having fewer students, right? Because if I have 8 with 15 available, that's 120%. If I have 8 with... Uh, 10 available, that's 105%, right? So it's, that's a big difference. Sure, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's go with 8 students, 15 applicants, 8 students, higher learning rate, hopefully help us make money a bit faster. We will eventually need the Robo Design Room. When would we need that? We would need that for year 2, which is when we're planning on uh, on, on buying another uh, plot as well, right? So that, that should be all good. Let's go ahead and apply these changes. Um, 156k as opposed to what, 120 it was originally, I think, right? Let me just check here. Pretty sure it was, yeah, 120. So it goes to 156. Not too bad. Apply that. Uh, confirm that. Yup. And uh, and that takes us to what? Oh, well, that's not good. And we don't even have all the uh, staff we need, actually. Now, the XP bonus is not factored into this, obviously. You know, I always like to say, what's life without risks? So, uh, Say we dive into it. What's life without risks? Let's begin the academic year. With a projected negative profit loss statement. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Start the next year. I could, I mean, with 10 points, there's none I can add. All right, fair enough. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start the next year. Let's uh, start the next year, please. And thank you. Let's see how this goes. Oh, see, we we have an entire semester of nothing, and that's the val that's actually rough. I was I figured this would be a great opportunity to experiment with uh, the divisible by eight theory for the first year, and uh, you know what? Looking like not the right call. But during those latter months, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of tuition happening, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, huh? like private tutoring happening and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get like uh, like assignments and stuff happening to keep up the XP gain. I might need to fire some people otherwise. Uh, either way, improving our campus level will allow us to open new courses as well as upgrade our existing courses. We're aware of how campus level works. That's all well and good. I guess that was an objective to have our campus level reach a certain point. Uh, robots can't be built in a day, not by students anyways. It takes a cutting edge facility to promote innovation. Indeed it does. Try modernizing your campus by training staff and upgrading equipment. So this will introduce us to the training room. So the training room is a uh, new room type that we're seeing for the first time in this playthrough. It allows you to actually upgrade your staff and give them new attributes and traits. I think what we'll do is we'll get the training room set up over here in this corner. Don't have to overdo it, right? Money is a little tight. Um, pop you down over here. It involves this major uh, unit. You can get a couple of these in a room. As many as you can fit will determine how many staff you can send to train at a given time. Let's pop you down over there. Uh, again, average room prestige is important for uh, winning awards at the end of the year. So uh, just because it's where somebody goes to, to to train really quickly doesn't mean you can downplay the, its actual look and aesthetic and feel. So let's go ahead and get a couple of plants down. Got the hand sanitizer down as well. Should probably move that a little bit closer before they get into the uh, device, let's call it. We've got a bin. We do not have a bin. So let's get a bin down in this corner. Can't reach it. Get a bin down over here. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of that. I should have actually sent students for, for tutoring right off the bat. We'll, we might need a loan. I'm not too worried. Loans are part and parcel of, uh, of, of the game, right? So we might need a loan uh, because I... I made a mistake. There's no other way to put it. Thought I'd experiment a little bit. That's what that's what school is about, right? That's what uh, university is about. Experimenting, learning, um, and exploring new uh, opportunities and options. Lesson learned. Do not do less than uh, less than the maximum number of students in the first year. Either way, use the training room to develop your staff. They can improve their existing qualifications or broaden their skill set by learning something new. Train a janitor in mechanics and we'll be able to upgrade our equipment. So let's go ahead and pick a janitor. Looks like... Uh, He's been ordained. Go over to training and teach you, Niall Fenderson. 
how to uh, do mechanics work. Start the training. And I will be able to see them actually make their way over to the uh, training pod and, uh, and learn a new skill. You can also upgrade existing skills and, and, and make them better at the jobs they, uh, they currently do. But let's go ahead and watch the, uh, the learning process over here. I bet the students wish they could do it this way instead. Just have a seat and absorb all that information. I mean, it looks a little uncomfortable. We just saw the little uh, shock go through. Looks a little uncomfortable at times, but, uh, you know, sure it's not that bad. Sure it's not that bad. All right. Let's see that uh, XP bonus come through, and, and hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be okay uh, in this gap that is uh, early October. We'll send a couple students for, for tutoring. But there you go. He's completed his training in Mechanics 1, and that will unlock uh, some... Uh, some next moves for us and some some options for him as well as he gets picked up and and dispatched good stuff i love the animations so so full of personality janitor training mechanics can upgrade certain items upgraded items increase room prestige and the rate at which students earn xp which is excellent so let's go ahead and select this item over here and uh, upgrade it it'll cost a fair bit it'll take a fair bit of time as well but now's the time to do it and hopefully when our students come back uh, for, for classes in October, November, they'll be uh, getting XP just that much faster. Looks like we're already getting A's, which is great. And our monthly profit loss is, you know, is good. Uh, we are, let's see, taking a look. Oh, students are lining up. I might, I, I might adjust this when they're back in classes. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, orbs. Who are you? A Pasha throws money at things they like. They may even make a donation if they're doing well. There's more where that came from. Well, that's good. I could I could really use you. <laughs> Go visit the, uh, the vending machines more often. Uh, getting a B plus, then you could definitely be doing better. But uh, what I was actually looking for is the timetable. So yeah, it looks like everyone's on the same. This was a good way to isolate and understand uh, and answer some of the questions that were coming through the comments. So we, we see that all these eight students have the exact same same schedules because they all fit in the same rooms at the same times rather than what was happening in the previous levels where uh the you know two extra students or whatever the game would split them up accordingly would end up doing a lecture while the other students are doing a um a practical course let's call it and vice versa that's what it seems like uh, was happening by the way we'll, we'll make this work a challenging first year uh in an already slightly more challenging level than the rest right do we need an assistant yes we do you are yes you have comic timing Drops litter, unfortunately, bin, bin blindness, but uh, but it is rapid. Let's get you in there, and that should help a little bit. This is just our statement. Good stuff, good stuff. Kids are all coming through to study. And again, they're queuing up to pick up their books, but once they have them, they are able to... Oh, this guy is uh, very stylish. I love the, the robotic students. Just constantly doing the robot. Some of them are, are just straight-up cyborgs. Others are, are, are not... It's actually an eclectic mix. I like it. All right. I did not do tutoring during October because a lot of people were gaining XP through uh, through their assignment, hopefully. And I just wanted to see what that means for our income. Well, we won't know until October is over. We'll see. Research and development. Even in the world of academia, there are a lot of things we don't know. In fact, we barely know anything. That's why I visit Bungle's research department every day to try and learn something new. If you stop learning, you're just getting stupider. More stupid? You get the point. All right, time to build a research lab. We do have the money for it. Yeah, you can see these guys are leveling up. And this is why I wanted to have this over here, because if this was over here, I feel like they'd be so crowded against the back of this. Quite a few students queuing up to use this, it looks like. Hmm, I'm wondering, like, what I need to make duplicates of and, and what I need to spread, because... Uh, all right, no, it looks like they're moving quickly enough. We have very little room for error in, uh, in in this level because of how tight we've made our financial situation. Uh, it'll be a fun challenge. It'll be a fun challenge. A lot of students are going to need to be uh, tutored in this uh, winter break, unfortunately for them, but uh, our, our coffers demand it. We need one of our janitors uh, up over here taking care of these plants. Buddy, you are, you are clean, I think. Let's pick you up. Get you up over here. Can we can we get your attention? <laughs> Wasn't able to actually. Come on. Pick him up. Wasn't able to tell him. To water the plant. Interesting. 
All right, we'll see what happens. But but that, that's looking that's looking hideous, and that needs taken care of for sure. Uh, November's almost uh, well, mid November's almost here, and I just want to make sure I'm keeping an eye out for that. And looks like uh, money's looking okay. Money's looking okay. Let's get that research lab built. Money is looking okay. Research lab, hop you down over here again. Let's not overdo it, right? Overall room prestige obviously matters and all that, but while money is tight and while we're working with some constraints, let's uh, let's go with small rooms with decorative elements. Though I wouldn't be surprised if a larger room is immediately more cost efficient. I like that seemed to help a significant bit for for a marginal increase in cost. Uh, let's go ahead and get some plants down, as is our tradition. We're going to need a lot more janitors, but I want to be careful about over uh, overwhelming ourselves with staff fees. Right? We, we are, again, we're tied on money, so I got to be careful about that as well. Bin down over here. Yeah, good stuff. Prestigious enough. We'll uh, set you over here. Set you over here, right in the middle. And we'll, we'll doll the space up a bit more down the line. Let's get some windows in here. Windows are always a nice solution. Two, three... Or can't put one there because there already is one. Excellent. Yeah, that's all right. And we need to send students for tutoring. No assistant in here right now. No, there's an assistant in there. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of our students who are maybe doing worse right now. We'll take a look at the research lab in a bit. Uh, okay, research the robotics bookcase, they say, to improve our robotics course. Fine. Uh, but let's take a look at the lowest grades. Everyone's getting A's and A pluses. That's actually pretty great. That's actually pretty great. Great. Free time, Beaumont. Let's go ahead and send you for some tutoring. And uh, Jacques Eruption. You are doing what? You're checking out the dorm, eh? All right, that's fine. Jeffrey Rhymes, then. Let's go ahead and send you to uh, tutoring as well. And hopefully both of our teachers are... Yeah, they're in there, looks like. I don't see... The, yeah, they're both in there, so they'll, they'll both uh, get to tutoring right away. And let's go ahead and... Pick a research project. We need to research the robotics bookcase. It's as simple as this. Takes a bit of money, takes a bit of time. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll unlock a new item. So as you can see, there's a whole other element uh, to this game when it comes to, uh, to research. So develop an expanded re reading list for the robotics course with books such as Laser Vision and Hydraulic Pigeons and Charlotte's Interweb. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that one a lot. <laughs> let's begin and let's get time moving forward. We do need uh, teachers though to, to actually do the research. Um, I think we'll we'll get we'll get the idle teacher to uh, to do research when uh, when the time comes. Are you seriously not going to go to this room to learn at the same time? It's gonna dance over here instead, huh? It just doesn't make sense to me because we we saw it working previously, right? We saw it working previously. Our uh, XP bonus has made up for our uh, deficit, so that's good. Go ahead and clone you and put some of these down over here. The students are able to sit while they're waiting for uh, for their turn. Go ahead and clone the water cooler as well. Pop you down there. There'll certainly be a lot of time for uh, for socializing in the upcoming uh, upcoming periods. You're up next. Yeah, go ahead and get some more students lined up for tutoring. Students, based on your grades, Jack. After the washroom, go for private tutoring. Forbes already got some just recently. Uh, Hugo Malarkey, what a name. Malarkey, Malarkey, I've never known exactly how to say that. i go ahead and get some private tutoring for you as well, buddy. I really hope that they spread the love between these two rooms. It would be unfortunate if they never do. Yeah, there we go, that looks like uh, buddy here is going up there. Though it just changed the numbers. What's wrong with you? You're hungry? You're bored? There's so much to do in this uh, in this campus already. How can you be hungry and bored? Plenty of food, even though it's junk. Where are you going? There we go. Yeah, he's headed in, it looks like. Good stuff, good stuff. You're almost done. The grade almost leveled up there. Again, leveling up is what helps with uh, with campus level. Gaining XP helps with money. We're looking very good, though. It's a very focused course, right? Very, very focused uh, campus, a very focused course. 34k. Money is a little tight. We're going to have to get a loan, I think, to uh, to be able to afford an expansion next year. If that truly is our plan. Who else can I send for you? Go, because you're closest. Yeah, gonna head right in. This kid's done. Let's get uh, Jeffrey Rhymes, perhaps. Oh, actually, we're almost out of time. Everyone's gonna have class shortly. 
So we'll let that happen, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at the uh, the situation. Speed time up a little bit. And while they're in class, actually, you do you not have class? You do have class. While they're in class, let's get you work and research. There we go. Finish that while uh, while these kids are doing their what is it? Robotics class, right? They should be going to class. Monthly profit. How you looking? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Marginal when it's just tutoring. Marginal. Not ideal. Not ideal. We'll see. We'll we'll survive the uh, the next semester. We'll be fine. I wish I could take in more students mid uh, mid year, but obviously not an option. We're gonna need that robotics bookcase put down soon. I'm sure. Uh, your campus is now a Bungle Certified Institute of Innovation, which is my way of saying I think it's great. Beautiful. Your students might actually build that robot. Who knew? Looks like they're actually doing it right now. Just about done. There are five research projects available that our teaching staff could contribute to. Academic research will improve our campus. If we take a look at the research tab, we are able to also do commercial research, which allows us to generate money. Uh, we can upgrade our lectern. We can upgrade the research hub itself. Training pods can be improved. There is a lot that you can do to actually improve your uh, capabilities as a campus. Right now, though, because we're in a bit of a tight spot, uh, we're going to keep the uh, private tuition rooms um, busy. What's going on over here? Why, why are we not watering this thing? Oh, buddy took off. Sell you. Slow time down. Go ahead and clone you over to this corner. It's it's reachable, otherwise it wouldn't let us place it. But I'm not sure what's going on. All right, students. Again, they'll have assignments, right? They will be doing uh, doing assignments too. Thirsty. Bored. Well, go to tutoring. That'll be a good time. They're both due for tutoring, but look at that. They're like... Queued up for the same room. This teacher has just arrived. Hopefully that changes how things work. He is working on his assignment. Again, that assignments are a way to uh, earn XP as well, so that'll help too. Good stuff, good stuff. Students are going into both at the same time. All right, good. That's working. We need that rotation to be happening moving forward, because otherwise we'll be in, uh, in dire straits. How much does one of these campuses actually cost? 30k to get it empty. 40 with buildings. Oof. So if we do want to move stuff, that won't be, uh, it won't be easy. It won't be cheap. It won't be cheap. Personal goal being fulfilled up there. What, what was that personal goal? Just laying in bed, sleeping. I'm, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad you got it done, but very curious what that was. All right. All right, we're okay, we're okay. The vending machines are making us some money. They don't make as much as the actual um, kiosks. But if we get kiosks, we need staff to man them, right? So that might not be uh, the best call. Instead, we'll we'll leave uh, we'll leave things as they are. How is tutoring looking? Where is our other teacher? Well, I don't know which the other one is. This is Charlie Corruption. Let's get Sally Toot Sweet in here. Get these guys with tutoring. You're chilling over here. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, go learn some more. Meeting up with a friend, gonna leave that be. Yeah, these guys are getting along, that's good for you. Buddy needs to use the washroom, it looks like. Yes, very much so. I'll let him let him use let him let him have his pee. <laughs> let him do his thing. We'll uh we'll send him to private tutoring afterwards. There we go. There we go. Kind of bored as well. I'm in, I'm intrigued to see that they're not actually engaging with any of these items that we've got for them. Uh looks like Buddy over here is at least. Good stuff. I just haven't given them the time to do it. How are we looking? How rough is this gonna be? Oh, not too bad. You know what? For a month where we did not have any um, any classes, that's actually not bad at all. That's much better than I was uh, anticipating. We need the records cubicle. I'm not surprised. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, adjust our library. Go ahead and build an expansion over here. Nudge you back there. Nudge you back there. We need the records cubicle, right? Yeah. Hmm... Put you over here, perhaps? Sure. Nudge that. Like that. Just, just to adjust it a bit. And we can get the robotics bookcase down as well. Helps with learning power. Accelerates XP gain, right? Sure, let's put this up over here for now. It's expensive, but you gotta spend money to make money. That's all good. What else do we need over here? Textbook cubicle needed? Thought we had one. We did not. Okay, fair enough. Pop this down here for now. Just wanna nudge you over. Line these guys up a bit more nicely. There we go. Textbook cubicle like that. And get you like that. Cool. 
What's this now? Statement. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Resume. Tutoring is still ongoing, hopefully actively. Library reading, all right. As long as they're doing something that involves studies. I want them to be happy as well, of course. Got to make sure we get, uh, you know, all the awards that we can nab. But, uh... We'll see, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Alright, buddy just secured an A, it looks like. Go and... Go and, uh, get some tutoring done. Uh, it's freezing here. I can't feel my elbows. Some of our students are getting too cold. Place down radiators to keep people warm on cold weather campuses. For sure. So that is a new item unlocked. It is the radiator. Uh, and you need it to, uh, spread, uh, to, 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 well, to bring the heat. Like this game is doing right now. I, I feel, uh, I feel a little concerned with regards to the situation I've set up for myself. Uh, I wish I had been a bit more uh, careful. Hey, at least we're earning money through these uh, these challenges as well. Uh, where can I get this radiator? Well, let's let's go ahead and get some... Let's go ahead and pause for a second. Let's get the radiator in here. Who doesn't like radiator socks and radiator pants, right? Got this radiator up over here as well. And I'm blocked. Oh, I see. Got this guy. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Can I... Nudge you over, perhaps? No, I need access from both sides, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Just put the radiator down in the middle. Alright, meant to clone you. You can see the radius is quite small on these things. Like, the, the radiator doesn't reach very far. It doesn't radiate to, to a significant distance at all. And you want to make sure your students aren't freezing for obvious reasons. Put you down over there. Put you down over here. Little hot spot over there. Put you down over here, perhaps. The walls, of course, are impacting the flow of heat. Hmm. Put you down over here. Warm water. And actually put... Uh, now we got benches there, right? Trying to figure out how and where else to place these radiators so they're... Uh, they're, you know nice, like nicely placed, but also not blocking things. Hmm. Well, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting to figure out, but we're going to have to leave it until next time, folks. We've uh, gone over that hour mark. Uh, the game is uh, bringing the heat in more ways than one. We are a little strapped for cash because of uh, a foolish experiment I decided to do for an ongoing series. But again, it's not the end of the world. I'm not too concerned. I want to see if we can make it to the end of the year with a decent amount of money. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think we're just going to have to take a loan. We did that last uh, at the last campus as well. It wasn't the end of the world. We were able to bounce back very quickly. And uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, next turn or next uh, next academic year, we'll make sure to bring in a full batch of students, maybe get another upgrade in as well. If we take a look at uh, manage courses, which is over here, um, we should be able to upgrade you and we'll have, yeah, we'll, we'll have significantly more students coming in and, 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 and we'll be more than fine. We might even buy that campus mid-year next year and make the moves happen at that point in time. But folks, like I said, this is where we're going to call it. I uh, am quite curious to see how this plays out. Uh, and I'm also curious to see your thoughts on today's session and our uh, ludicrous experimentation uh, with uh, while we were strapped for cash to begin with. Leave your thoughts down below as always, folks. Leave your likes down below as well if you would like to see this series continue. It really helps me make decisions when I see the likes and comment count. It just helps me understand what people are interested in watching on the channel. Apart from that, of course, the next episode uh, will be back on Saturday and then Sunday after that. And then we'll be back around the loop uh, when, with a Wednesday episode once more. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.